Krita has been around for a long time. It is one of the most favorite and beloved tool by the artists, sketchers, and painters who want some open source and free alternative of Photoshop and such tools. Krita is a sketching and painting program designed for digital artists. The vision is quite simple. It is free and open source and it will always be free and open source. It is cross platform. It works on Windows, Mac and then Linux. It offers an end to end solution for creating digital art files from scratch. It is optimized for frequent, prolonged and focused use. But this video is not about Krita alone. Drawing, sketching in Krita is quite awesome, but it takes an effort. This video is about a plugin which comes with Krita, which you can integrate it with Krita and it is called as Krita AI Diffusion. This plugin brings generative AI in image painting and editing workflows from within Krita. So in this video, I will be showing you how you can install Krita on your local system and then how you can integrate this Krita AI Diffusion plugin with Krita itself. This gives you three main things. First and foremost, precision and control. Creating entire images from text can be unpredictable. We all know that. To get the results you envision, you can restrict generation to selections, refine existing content with a variable degree of strength, focus text on image regions, and guide generation with reference images, sketches, line art, depth maps, and more. It also gives you workflow integration, and then it is local, open, and free as I mentioned earlier. Also, you don't need a massive GPU for this. If you have 8 GB to 16 GB or 24 GB VRAM, you should be good enough. But I would suggest at least go with 16 GB of VRAM. Otherwise, it is going to take a long time. But the more the merrier, as you know it already after watching my videos. Before we go any further, let me give a huge thanks to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on good prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Coming back to this Krita AI Diffusion, it offers a lot of features like in painting, live painting, upscaling, stable diffusion 1.5 and Excel is supported. Control net is also there, which gives you segmentation, pose, scanny, line art, lot of things. It also brings in IP adapter, job queuing, strong defaults. You can even customize it with your own presets, custom checkpoints, samplers and much, much more. So I think I have given you enough theory if I want to sum it up in one um, sentence, I would say that we all think that with the advent of generative AI and all these text to images, artistry is dead. I don't think so. Once you use this tool, um, Krita, and especially with these sort of plugins, you get to know that generative AI is just another tool. Yes, a very powerful tool to just take this artistry to next level. It combines the human imagination and innovation with the power of vision models or AI. So that is what it is. And I'm after playing around with it a little bit, I am very much hopeful that the future is extremely bright when it comes to art. Okay, so enough theory let's try to get it installed first up let's install krita in order to install krita go to their website and i will drop the link to them in video description it is simply krita.org once you are there just click on download and then if you are on windows it will say windows or otherwise you can simply click here for windows or for mac you can click here i am on the linux so i'm just going to click on this linux 64 bit app image you can see that it is being created okay so let me open this folder here and then this is in my download directory so let me go here and open my terminal let me make it a bit bigger so this is the operating system which i'm using ubuntu 22.04 but you can use windows or mac as i said earlier and let me show you my gpu card 
So this is H100 GPU card with 80 GB of VRAM courtesy mass compute, but you can go with even 16 GB of VRAM easily. Let me clear the screen. Let me go to down, downloads folder where I have downloaded it. First up, let's change the permission of this file. You don't have to do it in Windows. So I'm just changing it to executable and then let's run it by just doing the dot dot. You can even double click it. So let's wait for it to get launched. Should not take too long. First time it takes a bit of a time to load. And there you go, it is loaded. So this is our Krita here. Let me make it a bit bigger. The first time you load it, it's a black canvas. There is nothing in it. And uh, I'm just going to show you how you can integrate now the plugin with it. So Krita is installed. The next step we need to do is to integrate this Krita AI Diffusion with it. For that, you would need to go to this GitHub repo of Krita AI Diffusion and I will drop the link in video description. Scroll down on the right hand side, you will see there is a version and latest release. Just click on it and it is going to take you here on this page. So here you can see there are a lot of information that what exactly has happened, what has not happened with this one. So I'm just going to go up, sorry. And then all you need to do is to just download this zip file. So right click on it, save link as and save it on your local system. Maybe I'll just go in the downloads and then click on save. Same steps are for Windows. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. It is showing us here and you can see that it has been downloaded. So now let's open the Krita again. So this is our Krita here. For that, all in order to integrate it with Stable Diffusion, just click on Tools, Script, and here you would just say Import Python Plugin from File, and then select the zip file which we have just downloaded. Click on Download, and this is a zip file. Just double click on it, and then it says Enable Plugin now. You say Yes, and then let's wait. It is going to restart it. Or if it doesn't restart it by itself, all you need to do is to just close it from here and then go here and then just simply restart it. And you see it is telling you that Krita Python lib has been added. Just restart it. Let's wait for it to get launched again. So Krita is restarted now. In order to verify, simply click on settings and then dockers and you see AI image generation is at the top. So as long as you see, it means that your plugin is installed now. And now in order to configure it, either go to file and then click on new to create a new document like I have done or just open a new uh, existing image by just clicking on open and then go to settings. From here you would, um, sorry, go to, sorry, it is just wobbling a bit. So go to so let's wait for it. Yep. So settings, Docker, AI image generation. And then let's wait for just a couple of seconds. And you will see that on the right hand side, this is AI image generation. And you would need to click on configure here the first time. And then you will see that it is asking you where do you want to do the local managed server, which I think uses Confi UI at the back end, or you can. Um, connect with any uh, existing Comfy UI or you could go with the online services but we just want to go with the local managed server so I have clicked there it is asking you directory where this Comfy UI will be installed you would need at least 10 GB I'm just going to go with the default and then it is using NVIDIA GPU which it has already selected and then it is it has by default selected some of the um, stuff which we are okay with we are not if you know what you're doing like line art and all that stuff you can install but i'm not i'm just keeping it at default right so 1.5 is selected you can go with excel and here i'm just going to click on install okay now it is just okay so what is happening here is you can just check the view log files to see what is happening click on server log and there is nothing in it let's check the client log normally sometime it takes a bit of a time so there you go so this is the error which it is telling you. So if you go through it, it is asking you that we just need to recreate our virtual environment that it is 
like this so for that all you need to do is to just close this also just close this and we need to close this grid ii and then let me clear the screen here and all you need to do is to run this command sudo so it's a new server i thought it's already installed so we need to install this python virtual environment so just click enter here and then press capital y and that should take a few seconds to get it installed so let's wait and that is done so this is all we needed for now now let's go back and then just simply run the krita again let's wait for it to get launched so krita is launched again just click on file and new and then make sure that it is selected as rgp which is cool let's click on create here and that is done and now our a image generation is already selected so i'm just going to go with configure again and then local manage server and now let me click on install here and you can see that now it is installing everything so it is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait for it to get installed it installed pytorch good a lot of stuff and also downloads the model you just have to be patient depending upon your internet speed so after PyTorch, it, it is installing Comfy UI, which is a very, very fine front end. And I have done heaps of videos on Comfy UI if you are interested. And you can see that it is now installing the Clip Vision model. So let's wait for it to get finished. And there you go. Our server is started and it is connected. So everything looks good and you can see by scrolling down here that most of the things which were selected have already been done here and then you can simply uh, if you want you can just select the style and then what sort of style you want or this is a diffusion stuff i would suggest if you're just starting out keep them as is and then just simply click on ok here good stuff so and from here you can see that now we have the generate button and you can describe the content which you want to see or leave empty maybe you would say um, of um, maybe a pond in middle of forest and then let's click a generate that is generating it and there you go you see on the left hand side there is a pond let me make it a bit bigger there you go and from here you can just select you know whatever you want to do you can just start in painting and then you can just say okay um maybe i'll just say uh, put some goldfish in the pond and then click on generate and a fun fact, this Krita is from the Sanskrit word Kriti. Sanskrit is a very ancient language from um, India and it means achievement or accomplishment. And this tool Krita is, I believe, somewhere around 25 year old. So it's not something new. Anyway, so you see, this is how you install Krita. You, this is how you install its plugin. And then by just text prompt, you can create some base images and then it's all your stuff you can just do use these tools like brushes text and then you can start drawing and then putting in and you see it has finished and do you see the goldfish in the water now how good is that okay and then you can just say put a big crocodile on the bank of the pond is it bank or show Thing. let's edge of the pond maybe edge of the pond yeah edge is better bank is river so i'll just say generate here let's wait for it and you can see that how addictive it can be i'm making the video and i'm just trying to you know think and then do some magic here and this is what i meant look again um we are using ai to just enhance and boost our creativity if i had to create this thing from scratch i mean um you know a totally 
oblivious to art a person like me would take ages to get this done uh, if at all so but if you are a gifted artist who is already very good at this digital artistry uh, you just get some blank canvas you just use your imagination use all of these tools from here like this brush and all that stuff and then just go and then uh, use ai to augment your skill set how good that would be and then if you scroll down here it has generated some of the images and you see you can just even create i think a lot of stuff you can do and then you just pick your brush from this this brush and then with a freehand brush you can just you know do some stuff here like you could maybe draw something here whatever you like and then you can start changing it by layer by layer i'm not going to do the tutorial sorry tutorial on the um Krita here but now we know how to integrate this awesome plugin or bring in ai to this amazing Krita tool so that's it guys let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot and if you are new to ai this is my channel please search as whatever you want to learn i have covered more than 3200 videos in the last one year on different topics of ai as i was mentioning earlier if you want to learn comfy ui just type here and i have done heaps of videos on comfy ui as you can see in the last few months so please subscribe and then share it among your network learn as much as you like if you have any questions feel free to put them here i'll be very happy to answer them thank you so much i hope that this was helpful if, if it was uh, please share it among your network thank you for watching